Yes, and this is a problem, and I have been trying to tell them this for a long time, especially when it comes to the longer term ones, like the 30 years. Right, and then you lie, and you use somebody else's life in order to do the underwriting on the initial offer, and then later you want to swap it out or switch somebody else when you're trying to get all that shit you pegged to it. But what happens if the person hasn't done enough drugs or hasn't taken the bribe and they catch you in the course of trying to get a reissue again because you use them to set the deal up, then you totally fuck the deal up. And so they somehow find an insider trap to get a reissue so that they can give it to somebody else that they have banked on helping to cover up their crime. And when you're two years down the road and it's happened several times and each time, not only did they try to flip murders, but set up new murders on those flipped murders and they can't deliver. And so now you're in the third time in less than 10 days where they're literally trying to make major reissues on somebody else's life and code it to get away with shit they still haven't been able to get away with because there's no justification for doing it. I mean, what do you expect me to do? I told you it was bond fraud. Does it make a difference that it's not just a bond being issued by a major bank that's been able to get away with it for a long time? And it actually happens to be the Treasury Department. Does it really make a difference? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you literally got people that allege that they are qualified to be involved with the Department of the Treasury and agree to co-conspire to cover up for massive crime, including crime responsible for murder, by just doing a reissue to try to backdate the do and then give it to the same criminals, it's still bond fraud. I don't know what to say. I mean, I could pretend, no, 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 it's different. I mean, is it different? Well, I'm just saying, is that why nobody's busted the banks? Because just at a certain point in time, if they get and bundle enough of this bullshit together, if they get and they bundle enough of the crime together, then they can get somebody at Treasury to just completely rework the bond, completely reissue it, and as long as you've either killed the right people or made sure to contrive through Congress to get the right attention paid in the, in, in the media for that day, are you hoping to get away with it? They have been increasing this reissue shit. One here, two here. I mean, that's one thing. But this is the way I understand it. Every time, every time they do a reissue, what it does is it proves that they know there was fraud. And they know there was illegal money laundering. And the risk is so high, they actually have to redo the entire fucking issue at the fucking level of the treasury. That is all the evidence I need. All the evidence I need. This is the fifth time in less than three fucking years. Three years. Fifth time in three years. Three years and two months. We're talking billions. Billions of dollars of obligation that they've gotten busted for. And it's the same damn people. They're always trying to get the same damn names recapitulated in order to extort people into covering up for their crime. It's gone on too fucking far. The stakes are too fucking high. They're not getting away with it. 